What I want to do in this video is show you my workflow behind mixing and how this was beneficial for the, the documentary that I was working with my, my teammates over the last four weeks. Alright, so this is the session. It looks huge, but it actually isn't. It's just 15 minutes long. The reason why it's all like this is just for an a, a organization purpose. So you have uh, your dialogue tracks, the VO, which is right here in the, the, the first one, then music, this orange one, Walla, which stands for background chatter, production effects, which are uh, sound effects, sound effects that are recorded in the location recording, uh, then sound effects, and then these four blank tracks. I'm gonna explain what they are and what they're doing in a minute. And then eight Atmos tracks, and then a little bit downwards. Also, another bank of sixteen uh, of uh, eight tracks for Atmos, so sixteen in total. And then my Ox tracks, tracks or tracks. Anyways, right. So this is the Pro Tools session. Let's go to the board, the console. So what this is doing is just essentially helping me save time instead of having to find the tracks that I'm that I'm looking for when mixing, right? So the reason why I have that organized like that is just so it works perfectly with a console. So for example, in the first bank, I have my, let me focus, my VO track, and then the sync tracks, which is just dialogue, uh, fill tracks for room tone, then music, and then four wallas, and three B BFX. All of these 16 faders are controlling my entire location recording tracks or audio, right? And then when I bank it to the right, you'll see that the third bank relates to only sound effects, and those four tracks, they don't do anything. They're essentially just letting me know that there isn't anything to do here, so I focus my, my mixing right here, right? It's just easier to, to visualize everything, so that's why I put it in there. So when I bank it again to the right, you're, you're gonna see eight Atmos tracks for bank four, and then bank five, and under eight. And the reason why we have 16 Atmos tracks is for scene changes, right? So you have scene one, for example, and then scene two, or maybe perspe perspective changes as well. And also, the more you, we have, uh, the more we can play around with. So let's say that instead of just having one or two ambiences supporting the, the narrative, why don't we have, say, two pen to the center, one pen to the left and right, and the other ones pinned around us, right, in, in the surround sphere. So it's just a little bit of, uh, it's more flexible in, in a creative uh, approach. So 16 banks, and right here are all of my aux tracks, at least the, the main ones that I need to keep controlling all the time. So you have sync, reverb, music, reverb, VO bus, sync bus, music bus, Atmos bus, music bass, and music LFE master. Both of these are, are just accentuating the the uh, the low end whenever I need it to, to be accentuated. And the last bank, we have an RX aux track, which is essentially just connecting Isotope RX with Pro Tools, so I, so I can send files from Pro Tools to RX and back and forth. And then 5.1 Master, just my monitoring, track and the down mix whenever I need to convert the mix to a stereo version. And that's about it. That's about it. That's actually essentially it. Uh, I don't know why I said that, but it, anyways, I hope, hope that makes sense. And that's what I, yeah, yeah, that's it. Talk to you next time. See ya.